All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So here he is, one of the more popular fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, the heavyweight contender, the Black Beast, Houston's finest, Derek Lewis. Yeah, Derek Lewis is a phenomenal fighter, but he's just a fighter at heart. From the hardships that he had as a kid to his youth, developing and overcoming so much adversity to become a guy that has fought for the UFC heavyweight championship is truly inspiring for anyone that looks up to Derek Lewis. But not only is the story very good, the fighting skill is there to match. And he's got that old school, break your face open type of power. And he'll look to put it to good use in this matchup here tonight. as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, surreal Bogomol. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Go round one, outstanding matchup with strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Jim? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're gonna go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Missed with that attempt. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight any oh. he didn't like that left hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home. Oh, beautiful hook. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, 
Most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice punch by the Black Beast. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. The Black Beast gets caught by that straight hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Combinations here. Try to establish that jab. Lewis gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Checks the leg kick. Oh! 44 total strikes have landed for the Black Beast, Eric Lewis. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. All right, single collar tie now. Nice strike. Well, he misses with the left punch. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go we'll get him. Oh! Oh, straight right. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Huge right hand! What oh! Is Check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's All go. right, round two. Ooh, what a punch. Lewis's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just misses there with the left. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, 
Out of range with that one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Able to check the high kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Close guard. Good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates a space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lewis. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Black Beast. Lewis grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And that one certainly found the target. Oh! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliava has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. We're going the winner by knockout, Surreal Bogomolka! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that.